All righty, welcome back. It is uh, Money Monday edition of Liquid Lunch on Biz TV, Biz Talk Radio, um, the money station. And uh, we're serving it up as we do every day, a little uh, stock market bartender, if you will, uh, giving you all the different choices. We'll mix it up a little bit today. Um, I've been talking about Bitcoin. It is rebounding a little bit here, just uh, nudging up against 33,000, hit a low of 31 in the last 24-hour cycle. Dow Jones is coming back to uh, into range today, only down 29. It was as low as 30,832. So uh, it was. Uh, it's up. Uh, you know, some nice pointage here, a buck fifty or so from its lows of the day. I would be um, migrating towards cash. If you have uh, profits from 2020 that are significant, um, you might want to take, let's call it half of them or so, um, get into cash. Uh, as I've been telling you since the beginning of the pandemic, there is an ongoing war in this country against cash. The government does not want you to have actual cash, like paper cash. They don't want you to have stockpiles of it because they can't control it. So that's why during the pandemic, they closed a lot of banks and they only let drive throughs be open. You know why? I don't know about you guys out there in Portland or around the country, but here in New York, you can only get a maximum of like $1,500 when you go through the drive through Now, if you want to stockpile a little cash, you got to go into the bank and take out like 8000 which is under the prescribed nine, nine thousand 9000 and over. The bank has to file a reform and tell the government, hey, guess what? John Tobacco came in and took out nine grand. Um, so if you take out eight and you wait a week, you take out another eight, you wait another week, you know, over three weeks, you can get twenty, twenty five thousand out of the bank without alerting the government to the fact that you're hoarding some cash to put under your mattress. Um, because that's probably the safest place to put your money these days. Otherwise, you know, my grandfather, Angelo Archipoli, great uh, army veteran, great grandfather, father, brother, everything. Um, he used to say sometimes you got to plant them in the garden. You got to put the cash in the chock full of nuts can, wrap it up with some plastic, and bury it under the tomatoes. And the tomatoes come up beautiful when there's some chock full of nuts cans underneath there. So you may want to bury some cans in your backyard. So when the Gestapo comes to your house and they rouse you, they don't find it under your under your mattress even. You know, and. Um, there has been a war on cash, and um, I would continue to encourage you to keep yourself with at least two months of cash uh, on hand in your house, in your home, um, wherever you may safely feel you can keep some cash. Um, but be prepared, okay? I'm not saying this isn't this conspiracy stuff, have two weeks worth of water and food and all this other stuff. I'm just saying cash because, you see, um, you see the way... They just shut off the president's Twitter and hundreds of other people, right? And they shut off the president's PayPal. He has no more access to PayPal. And he can't go on Spotify because he might listen to songs that make people get riled up. Or um, you, the president can't go on Pinterest. So if they can do that to the president, imagine tomorrow you want to buy something and you go online and you go to buy it and they say, oh, you're no longer eligible to use your Venmo. Or you're, we have de deactivated your merchant account so you can't use your debit card. And then you know what's going to happen? Everybody's going to take a big, deep dump in their pants and go running down to the bank. And when you get to the bank, there's going to be a big line there. And the big line is going to be all people who just got their debit cards declined and they got their PayPal shut off and their Venmo don't work and their Cash App don't work and their Zelle don't work because the technocracy is in control now. They've already shaped the media to only want us to hear what they say. And now on top of it, um, I wouldn't put it past them to come after our money. And how do they come after our money? They don't have to steal it from us. They can just lock us out of it and say, you've been a bad boy or a bad girl or a bad it or a bad they, whatever your pronouns are. But we're not going to let you access your cash anymore. So, you know, I do my best to... Uh, keep enough scraps around that if stuff happens, I can um, at least operate and take care of my family. So you should think about doing the same. Do we have Joe Pinion yet or no? No, he's coming out later segment. He's, he's running late. 
Okay. Joey Pinion is going to join us a little later in this hour. Um, as I've been telling you for months now, um, way back in the end of February, I started getting short some stocks that um, – would have a significantly bad effect to the downside. And I've been short these stocks for a while. Simon Property Group, one of the largest owners of indoor malls in the country. Um, the uh, the, the uh, AMC theaters, uh, movie theaters are just dead. If they're done. They're finished. You you couldn't cough in a movie theater before the pandemic. Imagine you cough in a movie theater now. You'll empty the joint. So uh, movie theaters are dead. Brookfield Property Group. Uh, Brookfield, one of the largest owners of uh, commercial property, certainly here in New York and all across the country. Canadian company. What they did is they uh, applied to the U.S. government for some PPP money. And they got it on their U.S. subsidiary. And then they went out in their Canadian side and issued all this debt and notes and stuff. So they basically fleeced the U.S. government for all the handoff they, handouts they can get. And then they went up to Canada and did a debt offering. So they're in some serious sh- straits. So look at – check out Brookfield. I think it's still a whopping short um, – Macy's is another one that I've been short for quite some time. Macy's was on the brink of bankruptcy many times in the last few years as online shopping becomes the predominant way people uh, consume goods now these days. So Macy's continues to be an all outgoing concern in my view. And uh, finally, Gap Stores, GPS, symbol GPS, um, Sam Peter Girl, Simon Property Group, um, Macy's, uh, uh, also Gap Stores, GPS, Girl, Peter, Sam. Uh, These stocks are dead and dying, um, and it's not going to get better. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris now are talking about another 100 days of lockdowns, wear a mask, this, that, and the other thing. Go back to April, right before Easter. It was two weeks to slow the spread, and um, it's nine months later. And we're not slow in anything. In fact, um, most states, uh, blue states in particular, are sending people home to their houses. And one great big study here in New York State by the New York State Department of Health says that in New York, 74% of the spread is in the household. But yet they send us to the household. And I sit here today at Max Pub, a small business that's been shut down and had the owner arrested two times for trying to feed his family. And we find out from our own Governor Cuomo here in New York that uh, the transmission rate in bars and restaurants is 1.4%. So all the spread that's going on in New York State, 74% of it is in the household. One and a half percent of it is in the bars and restaurants, but they want to keep us out of the bars and restaurants, and they want to force us into our homes. And then they're saying, well, why does the rate keep going up? Because you're putting young people who are asymptomatic and healthy out there, and they're squeezing them in the house with their parents and their grandparents who are older with multiple comorbidities, and they're killing those people. I'm seeing every week more and more people saying, I was home, I had my family over, my grandmother's in the hospital, my mom's in the hospital, this, that, the other thing. Uh, One friend, my brother's neighbor, um, this guy's been beating cancer for like 15 years, okay? He's had a little slip and fall, um, got an infection in his back. He went in to the hospital to get it cleaned up, straightened out. Two days later, the guy's dead, um, and somehow it's a COVID. But he wasn't COVID before he went in. So, you know, everything is in question right now, uh, except for the fact that we are under siege from the progressive left and the Marxist and socialists that uh, run in the uh, elite crowd, you know, the Rothschilds and the uh, Bretton Woods crowd and the central bankers, basically, who own the Federal Reserve System in this country. And that's why they want to get the cash out of our pockets, out of our pocketbooks, and really out of our bank accounts. They want us to live in this digital society where they could track all our money. And uh, the more we give in, to the easy way, to the social media, to the electronic uh, companies that control our lives these days, the more we face being ruled and governed by a technocracy. So, um, you know, if you think the markets are uh, tough here, just keep your eye on the ball because I think there's going to be a significant amount of downside very soon. And Joe Biden's already showing himself. 
he was asked, hey, can you talk to Nancy Pelosi and tell her to stop with this impeachment, try to unite this country? And he said, well, that's up to the Congress. That's not up to me. I'm going to let Nancy Pelosi and those in Congress do what they want, and I'm going to focus on um, getting out the vaccines, which the states, uh, at least some states, can't even get that right. So I don't know. We'll take a quick break here. Lots to talk about today through the hour. We're waiting for Joey Pinion to join us. He's one of the best in the business. Adam Gallette is going to join us a little later on. He's the president of Accuracy in Media. There hasn't been much of that going on except right here on Liquid Lunch. And Wayne King, uh, one of the partners at Fidel's Government Relations, Deputy Chief of Staff to Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's Chief of Staff, will get his views sometime in hour two. We'll take a quick break right here. You're watching Liquid Lunch on a Money Monday. You're listening across the country and in Oregon on the Money Station. We take a quick break and we talk about money a little more right after this.